Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My last video was all about how I organize my closet and there was so many tips and tricks I give on, you know, organizing the stuff in your closet, hanger types, different closet types. So if you want more information on my own closet, how I organize it, or so many closet tips, link to this video. Now I want to switch back to my business organizing business and get a bit more focused on this time of year and kind of our year end getting a bit more organized. I'm glad you landed on this channel. I'm Jane Stoller. I'm a life biz organizer. I'm so glad that you're here. I have both a business and lifestyle organizing brand. I started Organize Jane really because I organize stuff and people and I love doing that. But now I have a six step program for entrepreneurs on how to get their business organized. And the third step is all about numbers, getting that organized. And I find there's so many questions that come up at this time of year to get the year end organized. Now, as we're coming into kind of winter time and 2023 is coming to an end, we're thinking already about next year. But before we get there, I want you to look at kind of your expenses. Have you logged them all for 2023? If not, now is the time to do it because not a tax time. <laughs> I want you to log all of your expenses for 2023. That means put them into some kind of bookkeeping system, even if you use Excel, or my advice is to use Neat, and then it connects to your accounting software. There's lots of different technology. Um, there's a link below on the three top ones that I like to share with my clients, and I personally use Neat on how to use it and how to link it to your accounting software. So I take a picture of all my receipts and or I forward them from my um, email, and it, then I every week I kind of make notes on it, make sure that it adds up and it's the correct codes, and then it goes to my accounting software. It does take time to set up, but once it's set up, you will really be happy and organized. So now is the time to tackle those expenses to make sure you have them input before the end of the year. My next tip is to really look at your insurance needs. I've gotten into the insurance world a bit more in the last two years specifically being able to help my clients with products and services and looking at my own needs. And there's a big gap in terms of what we need and what we should have and you know, also what we don't know what's out there. So just have a look at kind of your insurance needs. Talk to somebody, a professional. Um, I also have a link below if you're interested to learn more about how you can book a session on getting kind of an overview on what you have and what your needs might be. But that could be insurance for you know health and dental benefits if you're an entrepreneur and don't have those or travel insurance if you're heading away for the you know winter season, uh, holidays. Also your own you know critical illness insurance, which I tell everybody to have, your business insurance, those kinds of things. So now is a really good time to do kind of an overview of um, what you need and get you set up for 2024. Now my last tip, uh, we talked about expenses and insurance, and my last tip is to really look at that business plan. Uh, I don't think business plans need to be 50 or 100 pages. In my course, we do six steps, and even if it's just six page business plan using every single one of my templates, that's what I really want you to look at. It's just the basics of where your business was last year, what you wanted to achieve, you know, look at the processes, look at your org charts, what's gonna change. Uh, I like looking at the business plans for my clients kind of every quarter, every half year and updating them. So again, they don't have to be super complicated, but have some kind of plan. And then we can look at what needs to be changed, what changed in your life. Maybe you're focusing less on that business, more on something else, and that's okay. But now is a great time to really look at those business plans. Those are my three tips to kind of get you a bit more organized and focused before we head into 2024. Um, again, get those expenses in for the year. Look at your insurance needs and also your business plan. And if you need a business plan template, I'm here for you. I have a really simple six step process that I share with all my clients about how to get a business plan kind of started and keep revamping it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but having a simple business plan really is a good start. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a bit more focused on your business getting organized. Again, if you want more lifestyle closet tips, please link to the closet video that I just shared on my channel, sharing all my tips in one longer form video. But again, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and I'll see you on my next video.